Howdy, howdy, y'all. Today, we're coming at you from Medellin, Colombia, in South America, Latin America. We're going to be showing some travels and trips on the local metro system. Metro Cable, as it's called here. You can see us rolling around in the public transport system in Medellin, which is one of the sweetest I've ever seen in Latin America. You can see Medellin's in a valley, and so there's lots of mountains everywhere, and using these kind of ski lift chairs is a pretty sweet way to get around town. There's also the University of Antioquia, which is the state that Medellin is in, the province, and so this is the Universidad de Antioquia. It's one of the larger public universities in the whole country and you can see it's pretty raw legit and real as we're walking around some of the buildings and classrooms here lots of artwork or graffiti if you'd like to call it on the walls around here i'll let you type in the google translate what some of these things written on the wall really mean. They've been having a lot of protests in the year 2020. And so there's a lot of political movement and political action on the university campus. I've even been there on days where people with masks on, and bandanas over their mouths come on campus. They call them the capuchos there. And most recently, the, the SWAT team, or the ESMAD, as they're called in Colombia, actually came onto the campus. And this hadn't happened before in history. So we'll see what happens for the future of this university. They've been on strike a lot in the last few years. And unfortunately, a lot of students can't do anything about it. So they just don't have their classes and their regular degrees take even longer four-year degree could turn into six seven eight or more here you see the library on the main part of the campus and a beautiful fountain that they turn on in the afternoons overall it's a, a really beautiful campus really big lots of history and nice and quiet since it's in its own little space and all around you, you've got beautiful views, the people, and the mountains. So you see when you get around town in this Metro Cable and the metro system in Medellin costs around a dollar or less for a trip. You can transfer between all the different lines. It feels almost like you're in any other country with this metro system like in Paris France or Madrid or in London you've got a whole bunch of different metro lines and they're all connected and it's pretty sweet with these and a ski lift chairs which I believe are made in France and these will help take you up into some of the neighborhoods up in the mountains some of the neighborhoods uh, like San Javier is what this metro line starts at nearby the barrios or neighborhoods of Floresta, Santa Lucia, and Laureles, which are some of the neighborhoods that I've lived in. I've been around Medellin for over five years and rented and lived in various parts of town. Really easy to find an Airbnb rent an Airbnb for a week, check out that neighborhood, rent it for a month. Well, you don't have to pay any down payments or any deposits or security fees. It's a pretty sweet way to get to know a country or a city. So I've lived in all the neighborhoods from north to south. And in my opinion, as long as you're nearby a metro station, then generally it's, it's pretty easy to get around town like other Latin American places, there can be a lot of traffic 
and that's what's awesome about Medellin and Colombia is that you've got the metro so it doesn't matter if there's a traffic jam buses stop wherever they don't have designated bus stops uh, hey you're rolling in the metro as you can see you're flying through the air absolutely amazing and you're going up and down the mountains and a uh, tourist ride as well a lot of the locals like to take out the gringos and the visitors and tourists out on these as you can see you get all around town get up and down the mountains over into the other valleys you can see some of the rivers and mountains and all the green that's around Medellin you can see we roll right over a river here and on up towards the end of this metro line which is a pretty quiet place out on the outskirts of town called Aurora and it's a nice place to get out the city and which was sweet about the the metro you get out of town pretty quick get some fresh air escape the cement and heat of the city some of my thoughts on on Medellin Colombia if you've got any comments have you been here before what what do you think what do you think about Medellin Colombia and living around Latin America Remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Leave us a like, thumbs up, and leave comments down below. What are your experiences in Latin America? Or have you been to Medellin, Colombia? What do you think? See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.